This is the F-35, arguably the world's most advanced fighter jet and the outcome of one of the biggest defence manufacturing programmes going on today. And this is BAE Systems Facility in Salisbury, Lancashire, which has just been extended so that manufacture of F-35 components can go from a rate of one a week to the eventual target of one a day. So we've been a key part of the F-35 programme for over 15 years. We were part of the concept demonstrator in the mid-90s. We've then moved into the low-rate production programme. We build the rear fuselage of the aeroplane and the fins and the tails, so we're absolutely key uh, and basically do about 10% of that overall programme, which could be over 3,000 aeroplanes. Going forward, we've got a, a rate of increase that over the next five years uh, will take us up to building uh, over 200 units per year. To do this, BAE needed not only a larger factory, but a way of automating the transport of components around the facility. Yeah, this, this is an integrated assembly line that you can see uh, behind me. Uh, and the whole point of an inter integrated assembly line is really uh, to allow us to transport the product uh, in a flow manner. Very much similar to what happens in the automotive world, uh, where cars are manufactured station on station, uh, and product built up as time progresses. The way the system works, uh, as you can see behind us, uh, this, the, the monorail will bring the jigs down into position, uh, lock in place, make sure they're safe, to allow operators to uh, work on the facility, then disengage, uh, return back up to the, uh, the top of the monorail, uh, allow the operators to complete that day's worth of work, uh, and then when the operators are completed that day's of work, uh, they'll press a button, the crane, uh, the crane system will come back down, lock onto the jig, lift itself up in a controlled manner and within four minutes it'll dock onto the next station. Typically the aerospace industry in the past uh, hasn't had the volume of aircraft. Uh, F-35 is quite unique in terms of 3,000 aircraft being manufactured over its lifespan. That demands us to be thinking about volumes of one aircraft every day. Uh, typically in the aircraft industry to date, uh, certainly within the military sector, we've been producing one aircraft every week uh, and that hasn't necessitated for us to do anything different. In the commercial world, with much larger aircraft, they have typical type of uh, systems of this nature. The system is expected to be ready for production in September of this year. A further extension to the facility should enable BAE to produce one component set every day by 2016 securing the company's involvement in the F-35 programme. So we've got about 2,000 people that work on F-35 at the moment in, in the UK. A lot of those are on Salmsbury site. So what we're doing here is all about keeping that going. So basically keeping secure those 2,000 jobs, that core of the manufacturing business, that's what this programme, this assembly hall is all about.